Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV, and today we are talking about the E350 Morphing Terrarium. It's a wavetable oscillator where the waveforms can be morphed on an XY plane or a Z axis. There's a wide variety of wavetables available, and they are arranged in three different banks. You can also change the pitch range, with the lowest being good for control signals. For now, we're going to set it to the highest range. We will begin with bank A, which includes simple harmonics, and morph along the x-axis. Morphing the y-axis, we can get some more complex sounds. Let's switch to bank B. Okay, and now let's switch to bank C. This bank contains a lot of classic analog style waveforms like squares and sawtooths. Now let's try the Z axis. As you can hear, this one is a little bit more dramatic as you go back and forth. I particularly like running this module in a much lower register. You get these really nice rhythmic sounds going. This is a good time to introduce the MTX Expander from Manhattan Analog. It includes some parameters that are otherwise hidden in the E350. First, we're going to switch the axis control from morph to phase difference. This is actually kind of useless, but the glitch parameter is a lot more powerful. It allows you to switch between waveforms without the soft morphing of the original module. We'll turn off the glitch and restore the original morphing behavior. Both the glitch and regular morphing become more powerful when we use external control of the various axes. Here we are using the LFOs of the Arturia Mini Brute to control the X and Y parameters. We also map the Mini Brute's keyboard to the pitch input of the module. Alright, let's have some fun! Thank you. 
Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You are watching CatSynth TV.